Hello everyone in AR Arena channel. Uh, today we'll speak about um, Ladybug and why not some study of the Ladybug tools and how we can use it in some projects and how I can make this study regarding to uh, any mass initial concept of any project that I need to uh, make some analysis like uh, solar analysis, shadows, temperatures and everything regarding to the building. So uh, we can start with uh, one example of some files I have here like uh, AutoCAD file. Show for me a part of the city and I have like a 3D extrude for all these buildings that it will be surround my building that I will show it. We will take example of our building. For example, we will take this as a concept mass of our project and make our study regarding to it by Rhino. So uh, let's start. First, I just need to be sure about the units that use here. So if I check the dimension, so here the dimension it's by uh, millimeters. So okay, we can save this file and let's open Rhino. Let's start new metric project. And then we will make uh, import for our uh, AutoCAD file. So let's say import, capture data. And here he asks about uh, the model in meters. No, my model will be in millimeters as an import, and I will use meter in my Rhino uh, project. And okay. So as you can see now, we import my 3D file that show the buildings as a 3D concept of the buildings surrounded. And we will take this object as a the study of our project. So if I back here top, Let's make a new layer, and this is our study project. I change the color. And from here, I can make change object layer. So now I have layer for the objects around my project in the blue color. And then the layer of the buildings. Okay. And now let's start to open Grasshopper. And now we can start with our Ladybug tools. It will be here. You can download it from the Ladybug website. Uh, this is the latest version for the Ladybug that I already used in my uh, Rhino 6. So uh, we can start now. Regarding to this project, it's uh, as we know, we already imported as a standard location of the north, will be in this way. And uh, regarding to the location in Doha, we need to get the information regarding to the EBW file for all the atmosphere, the weather, all the content related to this 
place. So from here, from the debug, I can start from import. I have the main file, it's the ebw file. This is the file that I will connect and give me all the data related to this area or the city. And from here, I need to ebw map to open for me the map that I can select from where the data that I need to make the study. So from here, I can toggle and when I click true, he will open for me all the areas. For example, my area, it will be here in Qatar in this area. So I can choose the nearest area regarding to my study in this area. And this is approximately the location of my project. I have like three main points. I can choose any one of them, even the nearest, if I want. Once I click, he will show to me downloaded all this data or copy the link to clipboard so i already download the data here once you download it you can find it as a file uh, they have too much uh, extensions i just all what i need it's ebw file so from here i can make copy as path and from this file i put note and this my copy just to move this first and the last parentheses. I just need the path. And once I connect this path, I can see now my EBW file. It's work and show me all the data regarding to the area of the country. And let's start to get some data from this script. So if I go to Ladybug. I can just from visualization data, I can check here if we start with the temperature. And once I connect, I can find out he show me as a chart. This is a chart regarding to the temperature from January 1 until the end of the year, December, the name of the country and what the time zone. This is the months and from here, this is the approximate by Celsius, the degree in the country. And this is the actual temperature. This is not the field temperature because there's the difference between what you feel and what is the actual temperature. So here the maximum, of course, in the summer, it will be in the 46 or more. And that 12 bm, that's why this chart in this area. So, this is the first data that I can get it from here. In case of I need also more data regarding to what's the actual temperature that I feel. So, in this case, the wind analysis, the humidity analysis, maybe it can be included with the study to show to me what's the actual temperature that the person feel in the day. So if I go to analysis data, I can get here the BMV comfort, and this is the thermal comfort model used in the building where the heating or cooling system is operational. The natural ventilation building are adaptive thermal comfort mode should be also used. This is the BOV comfort. I have also here the adaptive comfort, the indoor solar, outdoor solar. We can check and take some example from this one, one by one, and see how it can reflect with me by chart and by data. So we can start first with um, UTCI Comfort. We also will use BMV Comfort. UTCI Comfort, as what he explained here, this is the thermal comfort model uh, for outdoor temperature. Uh, like a feels like temperature and this is the most common just feel like because sometimes the normal temperature not sure what actually feel as what explain so if we start with this study first so now he asked here about the air temperature so i can hear it from the 
swipe up temperature, what we already showed here. Also the MRT, MRT as a standard, and let's check about here, underscore if it's in the, in the beginning, that's why I need to put data here. In case of, it's in both way, so he proposed for me, and I can, I can leave it as empty, he put as a standard uh, calculations here, and in case of I need to put data, I can put it, no problem to give me more accurate calculation. It's no, he will put as a standard calculation in case of my underscore outside and inside. So in this case here, I should put data here. Maybe I don't need, and he told me in the default, he's, he put the same air temperature. So also I can connect this one here. And this one here, asking for relative humidity so I can get it also as a data from this one and here it's wind regarding to the wind VEL and from wind VEL we are talking about the speed wind speed so I can also take the wind speed as a calculations here and then all what I need just run the script so from this file I can run and now I can get the information of Universal Thermal Climate Index click shift connected here and in this case as I can see the difference little bit change regarding to what I feel as a temperature after adding the calculation of the humidity and with the wind speed, as you can see now, the temperature starts to be more high, and this is feels like more accurate from the normal temperature because there's another items affect the temperature in this in this area. Also, when we try. The BMV, this is the thermal comfort for the using as an interior building and what you feel internal the building. And the standard, it shows that the building, it can be naturally ventilated. And also, I have my internal system to use it. But this is the default of what I feel without any system inside and just only natural ventilated. So if I connect also my air, Temperature MRT humidity and he need also the wind speed and here El meter I think we can keep it as a default closes also in case what the type of the closes you wear in case of there's another usage of the building. It's difference between if it's office, uh, what's the type of the building, maybe it's resort, maybe it's uh, another type of the building at the residential. So, in this case, I can keep this both as a default. Also here, the PMV, the comfort parameters, I think also I can keep it as a default. And then I can connect to run my script. Let's connect here my EMV. So as a BMV, the predict mean vote, he showed him now what the, the feeling and he put it as chart from what hot, what warm, light warm, and what the natural. And as we can see also in the summer time, it will be very hot. And this is how we can, by this data and the reports, can get this information and use it in a HVAC system in case of you need to be more sustainable.
also if we need to be more specific in only one month as an example we can use from here the ladybug analysis period it can show me some outputs like period like coins like dates for example here in this chart you give the period as already all the year but here for example i need to check specific months for example so if i can say i need to check in month number five one let's say i will also start from one in the month and the start month will be the same this is my start day my start hour and let's say it will be this is my end hour and my end day for example in 29 of the month so as output I can see now he told me from 1 May until 29 May and if I connect the period here he just showed to me what I can see in May the temperature regarding to the hours I can use this also the period regarding to the too much calculation as we will see now so let's keep it and then continue our study we can also disconnect this one and then we can start with visualization data we can check now thumb pass Some pass here, he requests he already need the location, so I can put the location. And once I connect it, because this is the only data that he need as a request. And the location also, if I have my project in this area, if I can here by easily add point, and from here, put this point and connect it as a center point so we can see now he moved my study in this building and this is as a chart only because already in any place it will be the same study but in case of I need to put some calculations some ways from the sum pass regarding to this building and also the scale I can scale it let's say if I put as a 3 a little bit so I can see now this is regarding to the old year the location of the Sun and where's the Sun start from the east until the end of the day also in case if I need to check specific time I can add here poise from this output regarding to the analytical study so when I connect my hobbies they can show me only regarding from 1 May until 29 the location of the sun where it can be start from here until sunset if I can for example add it just one day no need to 29 just for two so I can see now two points even if I start from one and just one day each hour where is the location of the Sun and in this case regarding to the study of the buildings for some calculation related to the design and the some points I can 
get it as a points here and make a connect and make as a line by two points so this it will be my first point and this is my second point so I can see here clearly the locations of the sun that's regarding to my buildings it can be useful in some study regarding to the elevations the location of the sun in the most highest day in the year Also, we can make another study regarding to the incident radiation, and this is the, the amount of radiation and the elevation of the building on the year, if I need to make it as a study, and they can give me as a concept for each year and the time as a cumulative for what the radiation on the sun and this is can be used also for the solar energy in case of how many kilowatt by hour it can be from solar to the building so let's say here we can start with what he required third thing he required sky metrics so I don't have your sky matrix, we didn't make it, so I can find it here from visualization. So I can put now my sky matrix. Sky matrix, he asked for the, he have the default mode, he asked for the location, so I can get the location from here. And also he asked for the the direct radiation, the normal and the diffuse. So from the direct, I can connect from this one and diffuse. Hoist in case of I need to check specific time from the script of the readyback analysis time. The other items in high density, if I have it here, but I think it's, they don't show the density in the ABW file. So we can keep it as a default. And then I can connect my sky matrix. Then he asked for the geometry. And geometry, it's mean the building that I need to make the study and the content. It's all the other related content that it will include in my study. So from here I can check two geometry. First one I can choose my building. And the second one it will be from the other building, so I can choose it here quickly from the layer, select objects and from here I can select multi geometry so in this case he showed here and then I will connect my geometry and my content and then he asked for the grid size going to how it will look in the building so when I increase the grid size, it will give me a low time for the calculation. If I increase it, I will. If I decrease it, I will get more accurate or more resolution. So uh, for now, we can make it as two, for example. Offset distance from the study of the building, selected to make a default as a one meter, if I want, just to show it from the building.
agent bar in case of I need to uh, make a scale for my chart that I will show it. No need for now. And also CPU count if in case of I will use multi CPUs for this study, but I have already one machine. So all what we need now is just run. So let's run and then. So he show me here the object container on air. Click on the yeah the solution. He asked here that it should be BREP, not geometry item. So in this case, let me try. to make it as a period so if I check and I can select here select one period I can select my building and as the same here from this one This is my other peer, and let's connect and see. So, yes, in this case, it's work. So, I can see now if I close the layer of my study, get the perspective. So I can see now regarding to the how many kilowatt per hour on the meter square as the data put on my elevation. And this is very useful for two bases. First base it's how many solar energy that put in your building facades and how it can be useful because of in case of this project in the normal pace if my son it came from East, I will make all this elevation with a high E value uh, rate for the cladding, for the curtain wall, for example. But in here, show me like in case of the surrounding building, this building effect in this area and it's not show uh, too much solar come from that area. So maybe this is not the good location in case of I use solar analysis. Also, uh, in the high of the building, we can see now this is the most highest place that he have kilowatt per hour per square meter instant radiation. So, the best way to put the solar up, or in case of the building, I will not use any solar, I can reduce this area for the building by make, for example, as a slope in this way. And reduce a little bit the sun it came for me are not affect my HVAC system in the in the building and also as we can see here of course in this area I have not too much sun instant radiation and this is also regarding to the all of the year. Because in case of I need to change specific time, I can add hoist from this one, and he already will change my calculation loaded regarding only to this month. And as I can see now, in this month only, how the addition will be, and as I can see now, my solar addition a little bit low because start. The beginning of the summer for example if i change this for 8 august i can see also how to reduce a little bit in the end of my summer time 
and even the location of the sun. Also, of my study, I can use. Let's move this preview and make another study regarding to the view percent. In the view percent, he can show to you the estimate quality of the view from outdoor regarding to the indoor people inside the building. So, in this case, I can use also the same equations. And here he asked for me what's the view type in case of uh, horizontal radial, 30 degrees, spherical, sky exposure, sky view. So uh, we can see as a spherical number two. So I can put here my script two. And here he asked for the resolution, but he put it as a standard data. We can keep it as the same geometry and Context, you can pick it from this data. Grid size also, I will keep it as the same and the offset. And then geoblock. Okay, he say in true or false, in case of I will use a sky exposure, sky view, I make it true. In case of I will use Spherical, I make it false. So from this one, keep it false. Legend bar, I don't need it. View account also, I don't need it. And then you check to run the script. As I can see here, for my Legend, the percentage of the view, more blue, it's more vision. So here is normal because in this building it's already blocked my view. So the percentage it's low, the higher space it can be high. In this case, I can even in my design of the facades, I can reduce even the built up area for the mid floors and can be increased for high floors put more rent areas as up restaurants facilities for this building can be more useful as a view so on the back side you can show me nothing block here so i can see almost clear up more high Also, you can show it as a point regarding for where the study, if you want exact point and get it as a list from this calculation. So if I make here point, I can see now where is the area of the point that he makes his study. And this is also regarding to my grid size so for example if I increase this to be six as I can see now he reduce the area of the study and this is my grid and also the office distance if I will keep it for example as zero he will I think connect directly inside my building attach to my facade and this example for what the grid size and offset distance show Also, one of my study that it can affect the building, it's the wind analysis. For the wind analysis, I can use my wind rows. Let's make this one to the top and we can stop review this one. I don't need these points now. So wind analysis, he need some data, of course, from my EW file. So let's start from here first. He 
PA asking regarding to the, the data and he put it as a request. So from the data, he asking here regarding to highly discounting collection of values corresponding to the wind directions. So I can get from here my wind direction and wind corresponding of wind direction which is bounded by the direction intervals the input is usually consists of wind speed yeah so here he need asking for the wind speed also he need wind direction and then he ask for DIR count in this case he already put it as a default in case of I need to put period but as a normal now, I can see this is my study, but let's change point. Let's say I'll put it here. Let's give this an analysis. And move it to this. So this is the wind speed regarding the approximate for the full year from 1 to 1 until 12 31 and as I can see now what the wind speed it almost came from northwest and approximately came in 40 meter per second so in case of I need to get as a specific date I can add my period same as what we explain here so if I connect this one to my period it can show me now what's the end came only in August Also, by um, Hydra website, he can give you as a chart for each month the windows. I have like an example script, even we can use it in this uh, project to see Let's say first the script Let's make it a study. And for my website, if I will use my Hydra, we have too much calculations regarding to the ladybug tools, but uh, one of them, let's say. I need the main website uh, from this one I can search for wind and as I can see here give me script yes here grid of monthly wind rules So by this chart he can show you, he give you chart from January to December what the windows how it will be. So if we download this one, that's I can use this grasshopper tool. So if we go back. To my grasshopper, let's open this file. So, as I can see here, he removed for me all the calculation that I make, and he need to 
this file so in this case I think I don't need this one because this is the old ladybug script for run but now it's automatically also I will put only my my default location can commit it here so now this one is work let's say you need here to press to generate we put the color by legend bar this calculation has point for each month and that's fun so as I can see here before in my windows calculation when I use it it's already as really the wind it came almost from northwest side see also how it's speed regarding to the meter per second more than 10 if you need also a more accurate data you can bring it from the grasshopper as a data this is the curve this is the wind speed and this is the directions this is also very useful uh, website in case of more study for the building by ladybug tools and also if you come back again to our study and let's make this period to be um, for all of the year and how we can see the effect this wind direction regarding to my building in this case um, we can use some of the ladybug and honeybee tools but it's sometimes complicated for me the more easy to use it by uh, cfd autodesk so we can take this as an example and use it in uh, my project so if we start let's say first to a quick calculation I have here my note and this is my angle of the my angle of the project in case of if I need to get if I would make line and another line so this is the most time that it's the wind came from and uh, we can get as a angle from this one and that one no i think i need to connect like this no no back again let's angle say one and so the angle here it's almost 30 degree so let's save this one and check how we can see my uh, CFD and wind analysis by uh, Autodesk CFD can also save this one as a study. Uh, 